Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we are going to do another tumbler. This is a 20 ounce stainless steel skinny. And we are going to put fabric on it. We're gonna make it glow in the dark and um, some glitter. So I used glow in the dark Mod Podge. I took Cowboys fabric. So I also went through and all the sh these stars, the blue that's inside, I cut all that blue out. So I put the Mod Podge on. I sprinkled white and a tiny bit of blue glitter, let that cure. Then I, uh, with more glow in the dark Mod Podge, I put the fabric on top of the glitter. And then uh, with regular Mod Podge, made sure the fabric was sealed on some clear coat spray paint to lock everything in resin and now we have a glow in the dark cowboys peekaboo tumbler so these areas where the stars are cut out and also the white writing on the fabric this all glows So if you want to see how I did this, keep watching and I will see you at the end. Hey everybody, so my tumbler is prepped. I sanded it and then did my white spray paint on here. So now we're going to go ahead and do the Mod Podge. I'm going to use Glow in the Dark and this is what I'm going to use to lay my glitter down. So I'm going to do all white with a tiny bit of blue inside. I've prepped my fabric. So I've got it all cut and ready to go. All my stars are cut open like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my glitter. Okay, so glitter is on. I'm gonna let this cure for a few hours and then I'll come back and check to see if maybe I need to do another layer of glitter, but right now it's looking like pretty much exactly what, what I was hoping. And then uh, we'll be able to add our fabric. So, go ahead and let this cure. Alrighty, so now, I once I got the Mod Podge dry then I went in with my clear coat spray paint and I did two coats on that just to lock in my glitter so now we're going to do the bottom
So I'm really only concerned about getting right here glittered up real good because I've got our fabric piece that's going to go on the bottom. So these edges are going to get covered by the fabric anyway. So as long as the middle's nice and covered. So I'm going to let that dry for I'm going to let this dry for about an hour and then I'll come back and uh, we're going to Mod Podge our fabric on. Alright you guys, so now <clears throat> we're on to the fun part. regular Mod Podge instead of the glow in the dark. Just like what I did with the bottom, we're going to coat it in the glow in the dark one. We're going to lay our fabric down and then we'll put regular Mod Podge on top to lock it in. So my goal is to get this big star to be part of the main focal point on the cup. So to do that, I gotta find a good spot on here that's gonna be higher up, that's got a good amount of the blue. Like I like that spot. That one's also really nice. But this one. So now at this point, we're going to trim and get our seam. take our regular Mod Podge and make sure this stuff stays down.
Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna leave this overnight because, yeah, it's late right now and I need to go to bed. So we're gonna leave this overnight. I'll check on this tomorrow. And at that point, we'll see if I need another layer of Mod Podge or if we're gonna do uh, the clear coat spray paint. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's the next day and our Mod Podge is dry. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut off all the excess fabric. I also, um, I also want to highlight the stars more than just how they're peekabooed. So I have these little nail tape strips. It's kind of like washi tape, but it's made for your fingernails. And they're, these ones are really tiny. This is a one millimeter. Um, so I have, I went through and I pulled out all my blues, my whites, and I think a gray one also. But I figured why not add a little bit of these just to give it a little extra sparkle. So let's go ahead and get started on this process. So up here is trimmed, down here is trimmed. I'm gonna take the little tape and I wanna put a little pieces here and there on here. So like all my stars, so like I'll put a piece here and you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So at first I was thinking, oh, I'm probably not going to like this, but now that I'm letting the light hit it, it kind of gives it that, um, kind of makes me feel like the cheerleaders. So I'm going to keep using this stuff. Okay, so all of my tape is on and I got to admit at first I didn't think I was going to like it, but as I kept going and I was putting it on, I really feel like I took pieces from the cheerleaders, like their pom-poms, 
and stuck it on there. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray paint a couple coats of my uh, clear, clear coat so I can lock these pieces on. All right, you guys, so we're back. This is 100% cured. I didn't get a chance to record yesterday, so I did two coats of the clear spray paint and it sat for over 24 hours so this is as dry as dry is gonna get <laughs> I've got my resin mixed and ready I did 40 milliliters 20 of each I'm also I'm really loving how the little washi tape looks but and I also like the glitter inside the stars it looks really cute but I'm going to add just a tiny bit more to my resin so that way when all these, this, like this big area where there's nothing going on, I'll have a tiny hint of uh, glitter throughout. So I'm not going to use a whole bunch. I'm probably about half of the spoon. Like that. Tiny, tiny amount. There's my blue. Half, tiny, tiny amount of white. Because the white's really going to show on these dark blue spaces. So we don't want, we don't want it to dominate and take away from all the other spots. Mix that in there real good. Like so. All right, so now I'm ready to pour, and because it's the first layer, I want it to be pretty thick. So that's why I did 40 ml. Okay, you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let this sit and then we'll come back sand it down get rid of any little notches that could be in there from possibly glitter or whatever and then uh, do the final coat of resin see you guys tomorrow Alright you guys, it's done and I am so happy. I hope you guys like it or love it like I do. And on the bottom, I did the star. So, there we go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was fun making it. The cutting of the fabric out for the stars, that was crazy. It took some time, um, but I got it done, so I'm happy. So let me know what you think of this peekaboo fabric tumbler. And um, have any questions or anything like that, go ahead and put, post it down in the comments below. Um, Want your own football team tumbler? Send me a message. 
can follow me on Instagram at crochet happy I am and uh, in case you haven't done it yet please don't forget to click on that pretty red button right there it says subscribe also give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to see more videos like this click on the notification bell YouTube will notify you when I've uploaded another video so for now I will see you guys on my next video bye